What's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Danby 50 pint dehumidifier with pump. As you're unboxing, you'll notice this is the pump hose. This is the drain hose. They use tape to hold everything together for shipping, so just make sure you remove all the tape before proceeding. Here's the power cord. And here's a look at the filter. It's made of a pretty stout wire mesh. On the front bottom is the tank. You notice there's some more tape in here. There's also a connector for the drain line and a black piece. This is attaches to the back so you can wrap the cord around it. You want to be careful when you put the tank back in. There's a small piece of the pump that drops down into the tank. So make sure this is pushed up before you slide the tank back in. If you want to use the gravity drain option, you simply unscrew this little cap here. Then there's an attachment, screw that on, and attach the supplied hose, and this will be the gravity drain. And the hose is pretty long, probably about six feet long, and you wanna make sure this is going downhill into whatever drain you're using. Using the pump, you're gonna use this small connection here, and insert the small hose into this until it bottoms out. On the control panel, this is the auto defrost light. This light will illuminate when the frost builds up in the evaporator coils. This is the bucket full light. This will illuminate when the bucket is full. There's your readout there. This button is the pump button. Just make sure your hose is connected before you start the pump. Next is smart dehumidify. This function will automatically adjust the humidity level. Next is the filter button and light. This light will come on after 250 hours of operation. After cleaning the filter, press the filter button to turn off the light. Next is the continuous button. Press this to activate the continuous dehumidifying operation. Next is the fan button. Press this to select normal or high fan speed. The light will illuminate when it's set to high fan speed. Next is the timer button. Press this to set the timer. These are the humidity adjust buttons. The humidity level can be set within a range of 35 to 85% relative humidity in 5% increments. And finally, this is the power button. You may want to opt just to turn on the smart dehumidify. This will stabilize the humidity level in the room between 45 and 55%. One of the main reasons I bought this dehumidifier is for the pump function, so I'm gonna turn that on. Just make sure you have that small hose connected to the outlet before you do this. To adjust the humidity levels, you use this toggle switch here. The recommended humidity level is 40 to 45%, but you can set it anywhere between 35 and 85% in 5% increments. The smart dehumidify function here will automatically adjust the humidity level with the fluctuating room temperatures. The humidity level cannot be adjusted in the setting. It will stabilize between 45 and 55%. This is the auto off timer button. When the dehumidifier is turned on, press this timer button to activate the auto off timer. This can be adjusted in half hour increments up to 10 hours and then one hour increments up to 24 hours. If you press the timer button again, it'll illuminate the top LED. This is the auto on timer function. This is when the dehumidifier is turned off. You press this button to activate the auto on timer. This is the same thing. It can be set at half hour increments up to 10 hours and then one hour increments up to 24 hours. The auto on and auto off timers can be used at the same time by setting the first one, then the other. If the dehumidifier is running, you can set the auto off timer and let it run for a set amount of time before turning off and then set the auto on timer to turn it back on at a later time. In my case, I'm gonna use the smart dehumidify. This is gonna keep the humidity level between 45 and 55% depending on the temperature. For my initial impressions here, it seems like this unit is actually pretty quiet and it seems like it's very well made. Uh, it's replacing a 10 year old Danby unit that actually gave up on me. So I'm hoping to get 10 years out of this one. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also check out all my other maintenance videos and I'll leave the link for this Danby dehumidifier in the description below.